Hello, my friends. Welcome back. There are 10 letters here, of which E is repeated. So there are 9 unique ones in total. Each letter represents one number out of 1 to 9. If the result of this formula is an integer, what will be its maximum and minimum values? Why not give a try, and we will come back soon. The principle of solving this problem is very straightforward. If you want to find the maximum value, you need to make the numerator to be as large as possible, and the denominator to be as small as possible. For the minimum value, it is the other way around. One more requirement to keep in mind is that, the result has to be an integer. Let's first find the maximum value, because this part is relatively simple. The three numbers in the denominator should be selected the smallest, 1, 2, and 3. The rest are in the numerator. The only thing should be noticed is that, there are two e in the numerator. In order to make the result as large as possible, the largest number must be selected for e, which is 9. The order of others really doesn't matter. The final result is, 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 9 times 5 times 4, divided by 1 times 2 times 3, which equals 90,720. Finding the minimum value is not that simple anymore. We can't put the largest three numbers in the denominator. Why? Let's break down all the numbers into prime factors first. 9 equals 3 multiplied for twice. 8 equals 2 multiplied for 3 times. 7 is a prime number. 6 equals 2 times 3. 5 is a prime number. 4 equals 2 times 2. 3 is a prime number. 2 is a prime number. 1 cannot be decomposed. We know that. To ensure the result is an integer, the prime factors appearing in the denominator must appear in the numerator as well. Moreover, their number of occurrences cannot be less than the number of occurrences in the denominator. For example, if 9 appears in the denominator, it means that there are two factors 3. Then the factor 3 must appear twice in the numerator, which can be 6 times 3. Or you can specify that, the repeated letter E is 3. However, please be aware that, the only repeated numbers appear in the numerator. So such factors like 7 that occurs only once in all numbers, cannot in the denominator. As if it is over there, it is no longer possible for 7 to appear in the numerator anymore. The result cannot be an integer. Is there any other number that cannot appear in the denominator? Right, it is 5. Because the factor 5 also occurs only once. So, 7 and 5 must appear in the numerator. If the result of other part after multiplying and dividing is exactly 1, then the final result of this formula is 35. That is, the minimum value of this formula cannot be smaller than 35. If we happen to find a solution of 35, we will stop there, and don't need to try any other solutions anymore. Now let's give some tries. We start by putting the largest numbers 9 and 8 in the denominator. That is, there are two factors 3 and 3 factors 2 in the denominator. Therefore, both 6 and 3 must appear in the numerator. Because even considering the repeated letter E, there are at most 5 factors 3 in total. So there cannot be more than 3 factors 3 in the denominator. There is also a factor 2 in the number 6. Namely, already a factor 2 in the numerator. So the denominator has 2 more factors 2 than the numerator. The remaining numbers are 4, 2, and 1. And 1 needs to be placed in the denominator. But make sure that the numerator has at least two more factors two than the denominator. If the one in denominator is four, even if in the numerator the repeated letter is two, there will not be two more factors two in numerator. If the one in denominator is two, the repeated one in the numerator must be four. So the numerator has three more factors two than the denominator in this part. So has one more factor two in total. And the final answer is 70. If the one in denominator is one, Multiplying 4 by 2 in the numerator certainly satisfies the condition. But a number needs to be repeated. Of course, the smallest number 2 is selected. And then the numerator has 4 more factors 2 than the denominator in this part, and 2 more in total. So the final answer is 140. Which is even bigger than 70. 
So if both 9 and 8 are in the denominator, the minimum value of this formula is 70. Is there a result even smaller than 70? We have to consider moving 1 of 9 and 8 to the numerator. If we move 9 to the numerator, of course we'd better to move both 6 and 3 to the denominator. So the denominator is 6 times 8 times 3. For a total of 2 factors 3, and 4 factors 2. In the numerator, if 7 and 5 are not considered, there is already a number 9. That is, 2 factors 3. And now we still need 4 factors 2. And the remaining 3 numbers are 4, 2, and 1. Please don't forget, we also have to repeat one of them. If the repeated number is 2. It then happens to be 4 factors 2. So the final result is 2 times 7 times 5 times 9 times 2 times 4 times 1, divide by 6 times 8 times 3. Which gives the result 35. And it is so good, that we don't need to keep trying any others. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.